I'm curious, can we buy a moonstone, like, right now, actually? Does the evolution shop carry them? No, you can only buy the main elemental stones. Okay, so we have to wait to get a moonstone, at least. Where can we find a moonstone, then? So the soonest we can get it is either we can go to the Pokeathlon, uh, and we can get 3,000 points, or we can wait until we get Surf and go back to the Ruins of Alf. Uh, I think I'd rather do the latter, because the Pokeathlon is honestly really, really difficult on an emulator. It's really built more for being able to use the stylus with the DS. Um, so I'd rather not go there if I had, don't have to. Um, but, uh, we, I don't know, maybe we will if we, if we really want to at some point. Um, yeah, I think we, we're good to wait until, um, until we get Surf, because we don't really want... I was looking at Nidorina's moveset, and we don't really want her to evolve until at least level 35 anyway. That's when she'll get Toxic Spikes, same as, uh, we were waiting for Ariel to get Spikes. Um, yeah. Alrighty, so I guess let's, uh, let's move forward with, with Yuri and Cherry Leaf. Still seems really weird. Um, maybe I shouldn't have her out front now. I'm having second thoughts, actually, because Pokemon are really strong. <laughs> So let's, bet, let's get Hibiki out here and just have... Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to have... Um, I'm going to have the Sharp Notes out first. Because they still need more EXP, and... Yuri will still gain the experience by using the EXP share, so it should be fine to, to use them. Uh, so let's have, say, Amethyst out front with us. Alrighty. And let's, uh, move on, I guess. And not go through that grass, because there's, uh, there beasts of vipers. Um, I said we needed to fight trainers, and I guess we will. Uh, oh, there's double battles coming up, actually. Oh. Oh, who's good for double battles? Hmm. Probably Miku would be a good bet to have. I think Amethyst and Miku should be fine. So let's hope I'm not wrong about that. Hmm, let's see how this goes. See the the abilities of our uh, of our double battling. Hmm, we have electric types. Miku's probably not gonna be a fan of that. They are fully evolved. Even if Miku is a badass, I don't want to take a risk with her. Ah, uh, an attract won't work. They're both female. Great. Um, well, I guess let's try out Miku's new headbutt. And let's get Miku to U-turn out of here, because she should still be faster than those things. Or not? Ooh, I hope this really doesn't hurt. Okay, good. Miku, you're stronger than that. Good, good, good. They're gonna gang up on you, though. Jeez, of course. Man, these things are fast. But okay, let's U-turn out of here. Good. Good, good. Oh, the one-hit KO would have been nice, but okay, well, fine, whatever. Oh yeah, I gave Miku the Shell Bell. Um, and let's switch to Conchita. Who's got a little something... A little something that Minin's probably not gonna be a fan of. Uh, something by the name of a dig. Yep, Yuri got 300 experience. That's good. I guess I should have used Charm or something. Um, let's just headbutt. And... Dig. Oh, who did he use Charm against? Or who did she use Charm against? Oh, great. Conchita, of course. That looks like Headbutt's gonna do fine enough by itself, at least. We might not even have to use Dig. Haha! -ha! Sucker! There we go! Defeated Tori and Till. Is that really their names? That Those are terrible names. Who named you? Okay, so that was that went decent enough. Miku suffered more damage than I would have liked, but that's just because they had two electric types and ganged up on her. Not fair. Me. Uh, we still need more potions. Dang it. Um, let's use our small potions first, just so we don't waste the bigger ones. There we go. That should be good enough for now. And then after we fight a few more trainers, we can go back and buy more potions. Uh, I really wish we could fight these guys one on one. Or can we? Can we? Go through here and then come back from the top and just run from anything in the grass. Hopefully. 
Growlithe? Okay, that's not so threatening. I think we can run from that. Alright. We can fight you one-on-one, -on -one, probably. Probably should have started with Miku, but that's okay. Amethyst is good, too, and also has Bite, so that'll work. Also is immune to ghost types! So maybe she was the right choice, then. Man, she's- oh, she's actually gonna be really good against the ghost gym, I bet, then. Gotta keep that in mind. Drowsy! Miku! She has handled plenty of these things in the wild grass. I think we should have no trouble. There we go, perfect. Ah. I feel like I'm more or less back to normal now, which feels weird, because I, I still feel like I should be, like, mourning. <laughs> but it's, it is a different psychological effect when you know that the Pokémon hasn't really died. I guess that is slightly different from a regular Nuzlocke. Um, it just means you don't ever get to use them again, which is still sad. Um, wait a minute, was that Fury Swipes? Um, do we really want Fury Swipes? It's probably better than Scratch, at least. Um, yeah, well, I might as well. Might as well. There we go. Actually, should we teach anything to Yuri via TM? Do we have anything for her? Should we teach her Brick Break? That could be good for a Nidoqueen. Queen. Oh, she can't learn it. Okay. Wait. I wondered! I wondered if she could learn Shockwave, considering Nidorino used, like, Blizzard and Thunder and everything. That could be interesting. Could have electric coverage. You know what? I like that. Or, wait. Gotta make sure that her... Her special attack can justify it first. 29 special attack, that's not too far below regular attack. Okay, although it's still not great in general. Might not be worth it? it I, I don't know, you're still just kind of lower level than them though, so it could still rise up to regular levels. You even Grass Knot? Uh, no. Rock Tomb might be good for... Um, for Conchita, although I don't like the accuracy on Rock Tomb. Conchita can learn it, obviously. Might be nice to give her a stab rock move. I can always replace that later. I did teach her Protect. Uh, she learned that naturally by level up. Um, I don't know what exact use it might have, but it might be useful. Uh, would it be more useful than having stab rock move, though? Not really. I think I think if we want Protect, we can just go reteach it later. Let's teach you Rock Tomb. Okay. I think I'm gonna save Shockwave. Or I don't know. Uh, no. You know what? I really I really feel like we need the electric coverage, even if it's gonna be kind of weak. And it is never missed too, so that's good. Amethyst can learn that, right? I don't. But I think I want to teach it to Yuri. That could be interesting. Definitely would be good for fighting against those flying types that uh, that Hibiki is not a fan of and that Kotori probably has seen enough of since that gym. There we go. And learn Shockwave. Alright, that should make things interesting. And, oh no, we can't get up through here. Okay, well fine then. Well fine, we have to do one more double battle and then I guess... I guess we'll call it for the day. I still feel like we haven't gotten very far though. Maybe I'll just, like, do a quick montage. And uh, if there's anything interesting happening, then I'll, I'll come back. But Because I really want to make sure we get a little further today. I didn't think- I knew that Conchita would be weak to that water gun, but I didn't think she'd take that much damage. Oh! Spittle is not going very well! I really probably should be commentating for more of it. 
Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Um, Kachita is not safe then. Oh, but Amethyst isn't safe either. Uh, I guess let's just heal up Kachita and hope that we can kill the Cloister with the, the super overpowered Aerial Ace that we've set up. Or the Starmie? Should we take that out first? Uh, I don't know. We definitely do more damage against the Starmie, probably, because it's not ice type and it wouldn't resist it. Hmm. Uh, yeah, that Starmie is a big threat to Conchita. I guess let's. Oh, but the Cloister's a big threat to Miku. Let's take the Cloister out first, hopefully. And then hope that Starmie doesn't crit Conchita. Okay, good. Please let a double sword stance do more. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. I don't need aurora beams in my face. Now we can heal up Conchita again and let Miku use her uh, use her aerial ace against Starmie. Oh god, that was, that was scary. Too many close calls today. And one too close, way beyond the line call. Um, man. Burning through our lemonades. Ugh. You're not gonna get enough money to justify using all these lemonades. Swift. Ew, gross. At least it doesn't do that much. Good. There. Go away, Starmie. <laughs> you guys had far too strong a Pokemon team for being just like random double battlers in the field. And at least Yuri is getting a lot of EXP out of this. Thank you. Thank you, Sharp Notes. You are sharp as ever. Alright, and... Cut to two weeks later. No, for serious. <laughs> Just back there, after that battle, was where I was going to end the episode last time. Um, I recorded for like an hour, so that ended up being split into like two episodes. Um... And I didn't have enough left for a second episode, apparently, after editing it all down, so I'm recording now, again, two weeks after I recorded my last bit of footage, so I can fill out this episode. And hey, we're in Ecritique City, so we've got something to do at least. We're in the next gym town. Don't think we're quite ready yet, but I think we're more than happy to explore around. Um, something I did in the, uh, the two-week break that you just breezed by right there, you lucky people. Um... Yuri is all leveled up now. She's on par with the other members of Cherry Leaf. She knows Bite now. Uh, Shockwave is actually doing pretty well. Uh, I'm liking the coverage, so I, th I think that was a good move. She's got 40 special attacks, so that's pretty good. Alrighty, and anybody else? I think everybody else is about the same. Uh, might switch back to the Misfits at some point, just because I feel like I haven't seen them in a while. Uh, maybe once the rest of Sharp Notes gets up to level 28, then we'll switch back to them. Uh, so let's, for now, I think, search around at Critique City for stuff. Maybe not at the dance theater, because I'm pretty sure the battles in there are super scary. Uh, do we need to go to the Pokemart? I think we stocked up in Goldenrod. We got a bunch more lemonade, thankfully. Um, got some full heals. Got a couple Pokeballs. And I think we're good on that front, so should be fine. Ah, but I'm curious anyway. Oh right! Oh right! Fantina is here! I don't think she was in the original Gold and Silver at this point. It's, I'm not sure anyway. Let's see what we have to buy first. Probably nothing, yeah, okay. Anyways, yes, uh, let's see what Fantina has to say, I guess. Oh ho ho! You must be a trainer, no? I've come from the Sino, and so the region is très mysterious. Enfin, I will explore. But you are the first trainer I have met. I said to myself, I shall give you a gift. And so I will. Obtain the TM61! And I put it in my pocket. It's... Wheel o' Wisp is a spooky move. Too spooky for you is a ghost move, no? But you find that many ghost Pokemon learn this technique. Ah. I'm... I'm happy about that. I'm pretty sure... Nobody on the current team can learn it, probably, but uh, maybe somebody will get it later on down the line. Uh, well, hopefully, anyway. Uh, where else can we go? That is the dance theater. 
probably scary goings on in there. Woman screaming, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? My instincts are correct. Am I right or am I right? Oh, good spirit of adventure. Oh, it's the dowsing machine. Okay, I thought he was going to give us a the fishing rod for some reason, but it's the dowsing machine. I am also happy about that. Uh, so good. Item finding is in our future. Should we put that on now, I guess? Probably, yeah. Uh, oh, although, I think, uh, I think, hang on. Is there water in this town? Please let there be water in this town, because I feel like there could be. Yes! There is water in this town, so we can... Wait on the fishing rod to uh, one more time. <laughs> we can wait before putting the fishing rod away, I mean. Um, and we can fish for a new Pokemon in this city! Aha! Uh, I know we already have Ariel on, uh, on the Misfits and Conchita. Or no, wait, Conchita's bug. She's not water. Um, she just has water gun. Uh, but I think it should be okay. Oh, we've got uh, Freddy, too. <laughs> so we're not hard up for water types, but it can never hurt to have some backups, so I think we are good to, uh, we're good to go. So let's fish ourselves up something, I guess. And I hope that we don't run into, like, gender claws or dupes claws or something. Magikarp. Well, yeah, no, we've had, we've had a female Magikarp before. Unfortunately, she did not last very long. Oh, poor Erika. Um, so, no. That is our dupes clause number one, so we won't get a Magikarp. So let's try again. Oops, reeled it in too quickly. Um, uh, actually, just a sec, let me double check the rules on dupes and gender clause, because I feel like I've been doing it wrong. <laughs> right, dupes and gender clause are separate, so we have ten total chances to rely on either dupes or gender. One will run out first, they don't combine. Okay. So, let's keep going then. Alrighty, let's see what we get. That is a... oh, which one triggers first? Because that's dupes and gender. I think gender clause triggers first. Because <laughs> that's the... that's the first thing listed in the rules. So that's gender clause number one. I don't think we get a simultaneous dupes clause. One triggers before the other. Okay, so gender clause number one, dupes clause number one. Dupes clause number two. Dupes clause number three. Okay. Hmm. That was Dupes clause number three, gender clause one? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if we should save this, maybe. For when we get a better fishing rod. Maybe we should. Remember that. Remind me if we ever come back here. Um, okay, so let's leave that for now, maybe. <laughs> if we don't get something within the first few ro uh, reels in. So, alrighty, well, let's, uh, I don't know, what else are we gonna do? Uh, check the rest of the houses, I guess. Oh, we have a clown here. What makes a slow Pokemon move before a quick Pokemon? A trick room, of course! Ooh! Again, I don't know if that's in the regular game or not, but that's interesting. Probably won't get much use out of that for a while, but it's cool to know that we have it. Okay, I think that's pretty much everything that I can explore for now. The We have the towers and we have the dance theater. I guess it's, uh, I don't think we have to fight the kimono girls yet and their, like, stupid strong evolutions. But we might be able to fight against some Team Rocket types or something, and I don't think that would be too bad. Stop dancing such dear- <laughs> what? What is your grammar? Stop dancing such serious dance! Show me, Hula! You mustn't push such a request on me. Yeah. <laughs> don't- don't force women to do things they don't want to do. It's not nice. Well, whatever she did, she made him spin. That's good. That's one way to fend off your attackers. <laughs> okay. You dare get in my way? I dare! I do dare! And I dare with the sharp notes because they need ex- <laughs> Because they need experience. Can't talk, apparently. Coughing! Hmm. Uh... Coughing has a- Is it special defense or physical defense that coughing has a lot of? I think it's physical defense? Yeah, it's physical defense, so Amethyst is not going to do well against it. Do we have anything on our team right now that has a special move? 
I think Conchito's water gun is about it. So we might just have to make do. I wonder if it's worth it to switch to Miku and then set up a sub so that it, she can't be like poisoned or self-destruct or self-destructed. Um, that sounds good to me. I think let's try that. Or smoke screen, we can do that too. But that's okay. Miku has aerial ace. We do not have a problem with that. So let's sub. I don't know if Coffin can even learn self-destruct yet. I know the Geodude can at this level, that's why I'm not taking any chances. So let's try an Aerial Ace, see how much that does. Okay, about half, that's not too bad. We can heal off a little bit of our, our damage there. Oh, that's a strong sludge, it killed Miku's substitute in one hit. But that's okay, we'll kill you in one more hit too, so that works out. I think that was the safe play. And then we got a Golbat coming in. Probably not best to have our flying type in against that. Uh, we do have Rex. We do have Rex that we can uh, break those uh, those fragile bat bones with, though. Although we are part bug as well, so we're not exactly immune to whatever flying type moves it would have. Um, I guess let's see how much the Rock Tomb would do and hope it hits. Ouch. Okay, we got a hit. Got a hit. Ah, uh, not quite, but that's okay. We got the speed to fall. Okay, that's good. So maybe we can get an extra hit in with the metal claw? Yeah, yeah, nice stat lower. Oh, but it didn't go all the way down. That's okay, we still got the speed boost. We can still get an another move. I think that should be fine. Awesome, work Conchita, way to hang in there. Awesome! Hooray! Get out of here, you creep! <laughs> you made- you make me look like a villain dude! I'm not the one wearing the all-black outfit with the sinister R on the chest. Important mission, alright, well, whatever. Get out of here, stupid creepo. You must be Synergy, correct? That is indeed excellent. Kind and strong. Good at raising Pokémon as well. That person does know what to look for in people. Oh, I was just talking to me and myself, and uh, no, this is not a suspicious conversation. Okay, lady. Were you guys impressed? Did you love how I how I defended the honor of this of the young, confusing lady? What a rare sight to see! I want you to have this. Don't be shy. Take it. Oh, we got uh, HM three. And I think do we have to like beat the gym to make that usable out of battle? I I would imagine so. Uh, but we have it. And that's good. Uh, we can probably teach that to all of our water types. They would probably all be happy to learn that. And probably, I bet, Conchita would learn it too. Or not. Okay. Well, let's... Maybe that is a good excuse to get uh, the Misfits back out here then. Because uh, Sharp Notes aren't at level 28 yet. But I miss the Misfits, and I'm pretty sure you guys do too. Um, I guess we can keep Sharp Notes out and put the Misfits back in. We've had... Cherry leaf out for a little bit now. Plus, uh, Kotori, and I did get feedback from you guys that, uh, you did say that you prefer me saying it, uh, the way I was saying it before. I guess, um, uh, it's not accurate to the Japanese naming conventions, but it is how we say the name of this bird at this point, so we'll go with it. Um, anyways, Kotori is level 29, so we can probably take the team she's on off for a bit. Uh, give them a bit of a break. There we go. Alrighty, here we go. Ariel and Freddy can both learn Surf. I know Ariel is probably gonna be the the happy beneficiary of that for sure. Although her special attack is much lower than I thought it was. Uh, 65, 95. Definitely better than Brian at least. There we go. Can always go back to the, uh, we can go to the move deleter or whatever if we ever want to get rid of that from either of them. Okay, so there's that, and uh... How much- how long have we been recording for now? Yeah, I've been going for just about 20 minutes, so that should definitely be enough to fill out the rest of the episode. So, 
I will see you guys next time. We will probably next take on the Burned Tower, which I believe we will have a rival battle in, as well as we will encounter the three legendary dogs briefly. Uh, and then we'll gear up to fight, oh boy, at Critique City Pokemon Gym Leader Morty. So, I, I think Amethyst, as I said, is probably going to be a big, uh, a big part of our strategy for that. How do you feel about that? She's holding something. Oh, are you holding your resolve to fight this gym battle? Well, if it is... Oh, wait. Oh, we got a yellow flower. I guess your resolve takes the form of a yellow flower. I've never had a Pokemon do that while I talked to them and actually give me the thing they were holding. Usually they hold on to it. All right, well... Thanks for the yellow flower. It's a symbol of your determination to uh, to do well against this gym. Then I will take it. Alrighty. See you guys next time. Goodbye. <laughs>